Sister, as the daughter of Irish immigrants, you were taught the value of hard work, education, a loving home, and gratitude for God's many gifts. At the age of 19, you dedicated your life to God and to serving those most in need by joining the Sisters of Mercy, and you began teaching in Chicago's archdiocesan schools while continuing your own education. When you were called to lead Misericordia Home on Chicago's South Side in 1969, you found that its young residents were well cared for, but given few opportunities to grow and develop their abilities. It was your forward thinking and compassionate leadership that provided children with developmental disabilities the education and recreational opportunities necessary to reach their full potential and to live the lives they deserve. Through your vision, abiding faith, and selfless service for more than 50 years, Misericordia has grown into a thriving 37-acre community that now serves more than 600 children and adult residents and offers a wide range of vocational, educational, and therapy programs in a loving and nurturing environment. Along the way, you have been a source of hope and comfort for thousands of society's most vulnerable people and those who care for them. You have said of your residents that, quote, each one is a unique gift to us today, a loving and loved person made by God with a purpose, no matter how wrapped in mystery that purpose may be. Indeed, it is clear that you have also been placed in their lives as a gift from God, and that with his guidance, you have helped them to discern that purpose. In so doing, you have changed the lives of every person who has encountered misericordia and created a new standard of compassionate care. For your loving and determined advocacy on behalf of children and adults with disabilities, for your lifelong commitment to showing the merciful face of Christ to the world, and for your inspirational example at the helm and heart of misericordia, the University of Notre Dame rejoices to confer upon you its highest honor, the Laetari Medal. On Sister Rosemary Connolly, RSM, Chicago, Illinois. Good morning. Congratulations to you graduates, parents, and most dedicated faculty on this wonderful accomplishment you've achieved in being here today at the 2023 commencement ceremony. I hope you're able to take a moment to feel the pride you so richly deserve. The world is sure, is sure to be a better place because of your diligence and commitment in making it to this day. I'm truly honored to have been invited to join you and to accept this prestigious award. Receiving the Leitari Medal and becoming a part of its history is not something I could ever imagine. When I look at the list of previous recipients I'm very humbled to be included in such an outstanding group. I was born on the west side of Chicago to Irish immigrants who prayed and dreamed of a better life for themselves and their children. My mother and father traveled thousands of miles across the Atlantic Ocean to achieve their goal. We were raised to work and study hard, to love and honor God, our Father, in every aspect of our lives. We were raised to always be grateful for God's many gifts. My parents came to America for a better life, and they never let us forget or take for granted the wonders of being born in this country. If they were still with us today, 
being honored by the University of Notre Dame would bring them such joy. As Notre Dame means so much to our Irish community. I was 18 when I told my mother I wanted to become a Sister of Mercy. At 19, she and my father allowed me to join the community. The Sisters of Mercy are an Irish religious order founded by Mother Catherine McCauley. Our lives as Sisters of Mercy are focused on responding to unmet needs through direct service and by seeking ways to change unjust systems. I joined this religious community thinking I would live a nice, quiet, contemplative life, but soon learned that God had other plans for me. My life has never been quiet, and to this day, even as I slow down, I am still quite busy. God has been with me every step of the way. I was always given the right people at the right time, and in step with my religious vows, we always set forth to meet unmet needs for God's most vulnerable people. We dreamt of creating a home with a full continuum of care for our residents, a place where living arrangements and programs could evolve as their needs changed. We put our faith in God, and those hopes and dreams came to life. Today, Misericordia cares for more than 600 children and adults. Thankfully, God continues to send good and generous people who believe in our mission, enough to help us achieve our goals. I humbly accept the Leitari Medal on behalf of all those who brought me to this moment. In honoring me with the Leitari Medal, you honor our community of children and adults with developmental disabilities and their families who deserve no less than the best care possible. You help fulfill their prayer and dream of a beautiful life and a bright future worth living for their family. Please know I will spend the rest of my life trying to honor you in gratitude for your acknowledgement of the special role children and adults of Misericordia and others with intellectual and developmental disabilities hold in our world. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Conley, for your ambitious vision, your compassionate leadership, and your caring commitment. You honor us by your presence here and inspire us to do more. Thank you again.